Hey everyone, welcome to Huber Hype, and today we're going to be talking about HD remasters. Welcome to Huber Hype, everyone. Today we're going to be talking about HD remasters. I am Michael Huber uh, at, for GameTrailers.com. I do reviews and help with different shows, mandatory update, previews, uh, guest appearance on GT Time once in a while. But uh, now on Huber Hype, I'm just going to be talking about things in the industry that get me excited because 2015 is clearly going to be the reason we were all born. It is bigger than all of the IMAX movies combined. I will take Bloodborne over the Avengers. I will take Phantom Pain over Star Wars. Let's get hype. So HD remasters, pretty divisive subject. Uh, some people love them, some people feel cheated, like uh, for early adopters, you know, having to, to double dip or, or get an inferior version of a game that is eventually gonna be better down the line. But uh, here's some reasons that I appreciate them and love them, and uh, they are a pleasure to behold. First topic is Legacy. Most recently, Grim Fandango came out, a game that everyone knows, but nobody's ever played. Uh, it just got re-released, and now it gives everyone the opportunity to, to see what the hype is about. You know, even a newer game with a, with a legacy like Kingdom Hearts. My buddy's been bugging me for years to play this franchise. Now he just hands me the 2.5 Collector's Edition. I have the entire franchise, basically, right there, tip of my fingers, ready to go. Which brings me to convenience, you know, Grim Fandango came out so long ago, trying to get that working on your modern PC might be a hassle to most people, and just being able to get an entire franchise, or the majority of a franchise, like Ratchet and Clank, or, or Splinter Cell, and just putting that on your new HDTV and your PS3, PS4, 360, whatever, instead of having to fiddle with all these standard deaf wires and hooking things up that might be in your attic or something, just nice and easy, chunk of a franchise ready to go. The next one's really important to me, it's Second Chances. DMC came out not too long ago, and there was a predetermined hate for this game before it even released. Uh, the way Dante looked, a lot of people were prejudiced towards it. Uh, it was, ran at 30 frames per second, a lot of people just didn't like the aesthetic. They're getting another shot. They have, they have listened to that criticism and taken that feedback and given people what they want. It's now 60 frames per second. Uh, you're gonna be able to use classic Dante and, and it gives an opportunity for people that may have uh, not agreed with it, gives them a chance to play it. You know, and it gives the underrated studio Ninja Theory another chance to uh, sell some copies of this underrated gem. Lastly, personal affinity. We all have favorite games. Some have 20 favorite games, 30 favorite games. You're gonna look me in the eye and tell me you're not gonna buy your favorite game over and over every time it's released? Resident Evil HD Remaster just came out. This is my favorite game of all time. I'll double dip, triple dip, buy this game 15 times if I need to. Last of Us Remaster just came out. That's running at 60 frames. You can even turn it down to 30 frames, and wow, that made me a believer of the whole thing. GTA 5, all these games that everyone loves just touched up. It's like you, uh, you, you have a, a DVD of aliens, Ripley's going down in the queen's chamber, you see that queen, it's a little fuzzy DVD, you pop in that Blu-ray, crystal clear, you got that DTS master audio, you got aliens hissing behind you, queen eggs opening up, just a nice upgrade graphically and more underrated is sound. So taking all of that into consideration, legacy, convenience, second chances, and personal affinity, Shenmue HD Collection. Let's make this happen. Let's get the world talking about this franchise that has been left dormant and left on a cliffhanger for a decade. This is the chance with HD collections. This is the age we live in where these games can be reborn from the ash for new players, new systems, giving everyone the opportunity, giving Yu Suzuki the chance to finish his story. And all it takes is just a little HD collection of one and two, get everyone talking. If it takes off, it's, if it succeeds, Shenmue 3 on the horizon. Let's go, let's do it. 
So that's it. Uh, this week on GameTrailers.com, we're going to have a Spidey-centric episode of The Final Bossman, a Dragon Ball Xenoverse review, a in-depth discussion of the first episode of Resident Evil Revelations 2. I'm really intrigued by that one. Hopefully Barry Burton's return is worth it. And Friday will be the GT Countdown Top 10 New Game Pluses. So uh, let me know what you thought of Huber Hype, uh, what you would like to see in future episodes, different topics. I'll be lurking in the comments. Uh, feel free to ask me anything you'd like and uh, anything that you would change. Thanks a lot. Hey everyone, after uh, each episode, I'm gonna recommend a hidden gem that I personally love. This week, Remember Me. Uh, from Don't Nod Studios, they just released the first episode of Life is Strange, which is a really awesome game. But uh, before that, they had Remember Me, so if you're into futuristic science fiction mysteries, then this is definitely the game for you. A little rough around the edges, but uh, really cool world, characters, and story. Awesome game. Super cheap. Check it out. <laughs>